I think this works. I think you just did. Let's do it this way too. It's, it's complicated. Not that really anything's complicated. I see. I didn't realize. I'll say it. You realize what? Are you going to stare me down through this whole show? Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to look at the camera and go, like, hey, what's up? That's a pretty good idea. <laughs> I'm definitely retaining water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it's also called fat. That's so well. Well, I mean, if you had the triangle spy gap thing for your <laughs> stomach, that would be pretty good. You were the one who pointed at your triangle spy gap. Well, I don't actually have a triangle. Flying. Flying. See, I'm trying to like duck see duck now. I just realized how much I smell. <laughs> you do smell. I, like I smell pretty bad. I mean, it's not like I'm a bit of roses here. This is fascinating. Do you want to listen to music or just skip it? How long is the music? Like 30 minutes, eh? It's an hour show, so there's lots of music. I don't know if I'm drunk enough. I'm not drunk enough to sit here that long. Okay, yeah. I am. I have to do this, though. <gasps> time traveler. I am a time traveler. Time traveler. You're a time traveler? Time. Who has decided that? It's like, hey, I'm going to name a plant after time. You might have worse pee on than I do. No. I think so. I moment. showered yesterday, my friend. That is yesterday. Today is the day <laughs> I showered today. <laughs> Aren't you just ahead of the curve? I think my shirt stinks. Uh, I think my shirt stinks. I've been wearing it for two days. It's a nice shirt, though. I know it's pretty. Cool. Did you kind of did you kind of enjoy the Star Wars weekend? Yes. Yeah. I especially liked the part when we had the lemonade scene. Yeah, that was really good. And then the stickers, oh my god. <laughs> don't, don't tell people I need the stickers. We're special. Too late. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of weird. I don't know if I like this configuration. Should I keep this? We should look at the camera at least. Hi, people. What about doing this? Maybe maybe I should rearrange the studio and have like a table. Uh-huh. Like, like get the bed this. out. Yeah, get the yeah. bed out and then put a table and then you actually have conferences. I but don't... you're already uncomfortable with just by looking at this little doohickey. Yeah, a little bit, but I also don't tell people that there's a bed in here. Oh. That's kind of like, we don't, we don't share well, that. Well, it's really convenient to have a bed here, because, you know, you bring the ladies over, and it's like, by the way, this is my studio, and this is where you're sleeping. I don't, I don't like you. That's, like, super smooth, no? Yeah, that is pretty smooth. Well, yeah. And it's like, by the way, there's a bathroom there, and my shower <laughs> is huge. I would like to take a shower. <laughs> I really would. Oh, I don't. I forgot to get an email. <laughs> you forgot to get an email. Oh, I was gonna get an email. Let me skip it. You're gonna, you're gonna skip mail day? Oh, like there was there was actually a pretty good mail that came in. Oh yeah. Yeah, do you remember? Did you save the stamp? <laughs> I like how you're spilling your drink on yourself. I am. Well, it's like the water, the leftovers, you know. What's well, this condensation? She's coming off the glass. Well, I have conversation. <laughs> <laughs> How did you make that sound weird? Conversation is a pretty normal thing. I don't know you're kind of naked. That's kind of gross. I really appreciate how you don't use coasters. You know, even though I provide them. I do use coasters. I use coasters for the alcoholic beverages. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. But the rings are ring. I came in. Without thinking of a coaster, you're very, very specific on the coasters. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rearrange the studio next week. Oh my god! Yeah, not, not this coming week. So we're actually gonna like do this now more often, because I like this. We've got mail, and yet we're not talking about mail. Well, I'm, I'm now I'm thinking about this this configuration of having like a, a really nice table, right? Yes. And then you've got four mics. And then you've got like a wide angle camera. Maybe you could have a camera too, maybe two shots. It's just a lot. I like that. Every time I shift, I smell myself. That's worse. Every time I shift, I don't smell myself. Do you smell me when I shift? No, you're not, you're not that close. 
So about that shower after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'll take a shower with you. It'll be great. Well, it'll be saving the water and the environment, right? Those are two things, yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. But isn't there a point where you, like if you're both going to be washing, you still need the same amount of soap and water to wash with, right? Regardless of how many people are in there. So you're only going to be in the shower twice as long. I would argue that if you and I are going to shower together, we need to time it. <laughs> well, yeah, it depends if you're washing your hair, which you don't have any, so it doesn't really count. But like for me, I could go in and out, no easy, easy case. Do you think I should shampoo my body? <laughs> It is kind of hairy. It's I think. kind Maybe. of hairy. Maybe condition it so you can be like a Chewbacca conditioned L'Oreal commercial. I could blow dry it. <laughs> right? And brush it. Have you ever really tried blow drying your crotch? That's like amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, know. Yeah, I, know. Really I don't have a blow dryer. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't see why you would need one anymore. Right. I could get one. I, yeah. But I think when I'm in line, you know, and they're ringing it through and look at me. Really? You can say it's for your two bucks. They know it's for my crotch. <laughs> it's to keep my triangle dry. I guess. <laughs> your triangle, your gap. That'd be really good. Uh, you know when you get out of the pool and like you're cold after? Yeah. Not here in Kapako, but when you're just cold. Hold that thought. I smell. The shirt in general. I smell pretty groovy. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay, so when you get out of the sh uh, swimming pool mm -hmm. and you're like fucking freezing, you're just like fucking in cold. Okay. You get some hot chocolate with like marshmallows in it. Right. I do what with it? You drink it. Okay. Because <laughs> that's for some reason. Well, you pour hot chocolate on your body and scound yourself. That's oh, good. It's so good. <laughs> I kind of dunk myself in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> that would be good too. I, I mean, we're rich people who have hot tubs all the time. Oh, it's not too hot. Yeah, but when you bring it out of the microwave, it's so hot you burn your tongue. Yeah, it's um, I, well, I don't know the last time that I even had hot chocolate. Uh, I haven't had hot chocolate like, in probably, wow, that was a convoluted sentence right there. You don't, you don't really use your lips when you no, speak. No, I don't. Else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I <laughs> I do use my lips. I just. <laughs> you just can't see it. Is this a show? I think so. It goes like this. We're talking about lips, yeah. Yep. I once wrote a short story about a guy who didn't have lips. That was interesting because he had to speak a couple of times, and it's like you cannot pronounce the P's and the S's. This is what you think about when you're a writer, right? Like, how the fuck does somebody talk about lips? Yeah. You can't. You can't. Well, you can. Just, just try. Well, I have an idea. Because you can still have a tongue. You just don't have lips, right? We're coming up actually on a segment here. About lips? It's going to be 30 seconds awkward something. About lips? Yeah, we could do something where we try to talk to each other for 30 seconds as if we didn't have lips. Okay, I like that. <laughs> we need some sort of subject. Um, Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Or the Ewoks. Oh my god, that's going to be so difficult. Oh, okay. Do you want to talk about Ewoks and no lips? Yes. I'm really excited. Are you really gonna start watching the Ewoks cartoon? Maybe. Yeah, me too. I like this microphone, it's like soft in my face. You don't it doesn't work like that. You have to put it in front. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like a cheek puffer, no? Because it should be. It's like, oh it's so good. Alright, let's do the second. Okay. This is 30 seconds. Awkward talking without lips. About Ewoks. On the five cup podcast. I can't do this. Okay. Wait, which one is your favorite Ewok? The short one. The one without fucking lips. You didn't like to hate Ewok? I love it. <laughs> what about you? Are there. No, I don't know what they are. You're gonna die old and like. <laughs> 
It was very, it was very sad when you lost that. Oh my god! Go ahead. Don't talk. I almost, I almost cried. That was 30 seconds. That was really awkward. That was really difficult. Talking with no lips. Try it. I, I, okay, whoever listens to this needs to talk to somebody or a friend or whoever, like, that person you know down the street would be good. Without lips. Without lips. Sans lips. And then send a letter to Corey. <laughs> you know me. About what you had, like, the conversation that you had without lips. Or better yet, record a voicemail. Oh, that'd be so good. Right. By the way, I'm fine. I don't know if he introduced me. We well, haven't. You know what we should do that now? This is the last thing. Okay. <laughs> I gotta make sure I do my sponsors. Don't let me forget. Okay. Very important. Yeah. I think I'm mad when I don't. Think. God, I smell. Sometimes uh, I'm. Thanks for introducing me, Corey. When we uh, we do these shows, you feel like when you're in the middle of it, when you're in the end. It's very sad. Well, yeah, and it also feels like that was a really bad show. You know, that just wasn't good. I thought it was pretty good. I think it was good, though. And then the next day, it's what I'm getting at. You, you listen back to it, and it's, it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. You know what we could do? We could listen to it in the shower. Mm. Okay. I don't think there'd be anything weird about us sharing a shower and listening to each other. I have, like, it. five guys in mind that would be very upset with that idea. All right. <laughs> Maybe by five, I mean one. <laughs> Are you going to be in the shower with us? <laughs> not I hope so. That'd be cool. It's like, hey, buddy. How's it going? Do you have any final thoughts for tonight? Um, this show is sponsored by... Freshboys.com. Ah. They're books and they're fresh. Yeah, they're great because it's online invoicing made easy and fun. Yeah. It's and not what you get paid, it's when you get paid that matters. Does that mean it's like minty too? Do we offer mints? No, I think the fresh part means that it's kind of easy and breezy. Mm -hmm. It's fresh. So, do they offer blow dryers too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> For your crotch dryer? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, look into that. Big contest. <laughs> also, I have all my domains at Albert.com. Oh. I really like it. Hover. They have a concierge service. They should have hoverboards. It's pretty nice. Attached. If you're one of the competitors, you should move on. That's fair. Oh. I got one more sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> it's emusic.com. That was all over you on the chicken. Emusic? Like Ewok music? Like oh Ewok. my god, yes. See how it ties in to everything we just talked about? That's how the show works. It's over. <laughs> You know, the sponsors in now is perfect, actually. And it all tied into what we were talking about.